he's had a really tough start in his life. He's got deformed front legs, both of them. He's got a wrecked back leg. So we're gonna see if we can fix him. So there. Whoa. Bad. His patellas. Denise, I think it's both. Oh no. That kneecap you can see is way outside. It's right on the inside of the leg. We have to try and bring it back. In northwest Sydney, Rob is on his way to a house call to check on a very special little boy. Generous-hearted foster carer Denise has been looking after five-year-old rescue dog Hero. I have dedicated 30 years to rescuing and rehoming dogs. I have four dogs of my own and I'll foster one or two small dogs. Brave little Hero has had a tough life. Come on Hero! Born with a badly deformed front leg that made mobility a constant struggle. Hero isn't able to go for a walk on a lead like a normal dog. So he gets put in his pram and off he goes. Not like other dogs who have functioning limbs, he's only got one. Having only one functioning front paw puts considerable strain on Hero's back legs. So Denise is hoping Rob can operate to somewhat give the little stray a better quality of life. He's had a really tough start in his life. He's got deformed front legs, both of them. He's got a wrecked back leg. So we're going to see if we can fix him. Hello, Who's Denise. This? Hi, Rob. How, How are, are you? you? Good, good, good. This is young hero that you've told me about? Yes. Oh, gosh, he's a sweetie. Isn't he sweet? He's got a very kind eye, hasn't he? Yeah. Considering he's... life's not been easy for you, buddy. No. Well, let's have a look at him. So he's got a bit of history. You had heartworms. Is yes, he did. Let's just check him over. Okay. He looks healthy now, thank God. Yes. Hero has had heartworm and he's had treatment. His heart sounds all good. All the valves are thankfully working fine. Hopefully we'll be able to proceed with surgery. So there. Whoa. Bad. His patellas. Denise, I think it's both. Oh no. I really do. I'm so sorry. I'll know more when I take some x-rays. Okay but his kneecaps are going in and out of the joint. Yeah. And so it's making it very hard for him to stay stable. Normally a dog takes 80% of his weight on his front legs. Yes. And well, he can't do that. He's throwing all the weight back here back. as much as he can. Yep. And that's putting so much strain on his back legs. Poor little fellow. You're a gorgeous little thing, aren't you? I'm thinking that Hero is worse than we first anticipated. Bye, Hero. I'm nervous for him. You be a good boy. The patella is there and the groove, I don't think it's got much of a groove at all, see it just slopping out, it just dislocates out. In northwest Sydney, Rob and his team are preparing for an X-ray of Hero's injured leg before they decide if the rescue dog will require major surgery. Ready button, fire. I'm happy with the hips, thank goodness. We don't have to do anything with those. The left one is just in the groove okay. I think it'll be all right. The right one, you can see there's the patella. So that's causing all the problems. That kneecap you can see is way outside. It's right on the inside of the leg. We have to try and bring it back. Rob is satisfied with the condition of Hero's left leg and can now concentrate on correcting the serious problem on the right. Rob will now begin surgery to help improve little Hero's quality of life. Wow. So the bone here is just totally flat across. There is no groove whatsoever. And this poor kneecap has nowhere to live. So we've got to give it a little house to start with. That's the first thing. Just start with this rat's tail one a bit, just get a fair bit of bite in there. Starting to get a groove. And it's hard work. It's you now the bone's tough. We're getting through cartilage and bone. So of course he's got a little bone <laughs> that we're working with. It's not quite microsurgery, but 
boy, he's got little bones. At this stage, the patella's just been sitting literally inside the leg. And it's just as important in this little lug because he's got bad front legs. So we've really got to help him out. He's a very lucky dog that he came to us. I have all the faith in the world that we'll fix his leg so that he has a better quality of life. Look at that. He's got bad front legs, so we've really got to help him out. In northwest Sydney, Rob is performing knee surgery on a tough little three legged rescue dog, Hero. All the muscles have orientated to pull the kneecap the wrong way, pulling it to the inside of the leg. And so we do have to actually stretch those. They're going to hurt a little bit when he wakes up, but we've got to stretch them so we get the whole thing in the right position. Just about there. It's still flicking out a bit. It's hoped the surgery will relieve Hero's constant pain and give him better mobility. So now we will chisel that. Okay, so we've chiseled that sharp bit of bone nearly off. And now I'm going to create the bed to push it further out where it should have been. And I've got to say, I'm going to have to move this a lot more than I usually move it. I'm usually talking millimetres, this is going to be centimetres almost to get this back where we want it. I'm really happy with that now. Look, that patella is staying in position. I am really pleased with that. That's good. The final stage of the delicate operation requires inserting a metal pin to stabilise the leg. I want it straight. That's what I want. Hero now faces a long recovery with regular therapy and plenty of TLC. There we go. You're waking up quick. Yeah. So I'm really happy with what we've done for him. That back leg has gone beautiful. The kneecap's sitting in the groove that we created, so it's all lined up. It's a nice line of support. Some time now and uh, a fair bit of physio probably in the future. He'll stay here for that, and then um, he'll go home to his care and we'll have a look how he goes. You're gorgeous. Look at those eyes. Aren't they gorgeous? There you go, buddy. Put your head down and sleep. In northwest Sydney, foster carer Denise has been reunited with Hero after surgery to repair his injured leg. Feeling better? It's all gone really well. I'm happy. That's nice and stable. Yep. It took a lot of pulling. It was Did all it? the muscles on the inside were pulling that kneecap out of the joint. Yes. Uh, and the thing was whole, literally flat. There was no groove. We put it all in. Yeah. It's nice and stable. It's wrapped up. That's great. Beautiful. It's a bit sleepy. He's got a lot of painkillers and drugs in him. <laughs> He's in a happy place. He looks place. pretty happy. I don't yeah. know if he might be a little bit hungry. You want to try him on something? Look, Hero. I bought your favourite treats. Can yeah. I have some? Here you go. Good boy. Yeah. <gasps> you like those treats? Don't you? Okay, Rob, so what's the next move for well, we'll Hero? Him, he will just rest for the next two weeks. Okay. Then he may start a little bit of physiotherapy. In the meantime, I'll be carrying him out, putting him on the grass and putting him back to help him mm -hmm. go to the toilet yeah. and just make life comfortable and yeah. something a bit different all the time. That bone will take six weeks to mend. Around four week mark, we'll start doing a little bit more physio. Once he can use that leg on his own, he can go back to his carer. Oh, that'll be lovely. Thank you. Pleasure. Thank you for all, all you have done. Thanks, Rob. Bye. Bye, little fella. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.